the launch of the Soyuz for Amos tonight. Now, what's happening roughly at this time? So at this level, uh, all the systems on the Fregat side are, are on, and the spacecraft also is only monitored. The next main step will be within 10 seconds, the umbilical drop-off. We will see it on, on the screen. And then we will be very close to the launch. So we're going to um, bring you some complete the pictures of the uh, of the final integration and transfer now. We'll have some shots of that coming up. We saw these briefly before, but we want to go into a little more detail. Launch your final integration and transfer to the pad. Yes, after completion of the upper composite, it was transferred, as said before, to the launch area for the final activities with the launcher. So we have first the mating of the four boosters of the first stage to the main core, uh, which is the second stage. And separately, we had the upper composite uh, mated on the third stage. And then all together, they are mated to the second stage to have the final launcher in the horizontal configuration. And when that's all ready, it rolls out again horizontally. There's a nice shot from underneath of the four boosters. You see the tapered cones. Rolling out to the pad? Yes, the rollout to take place at 7.30 in the morning. It's also a tradition. Every, every launch, 7.30 in the morning? From this launch pad, yes. And then it has to go up from horizontal to vertical. Now, how long does that take? So roughly it takes less than half an hour. So after 10 days, roughly, of, of testing at Baikonur, we're finally ready. Yes, then start the, the activities for the launch pad activities, which is three, four days uh, before the launch. All right, we're down to the final 60 seconds, the final minute of the uh, final countdown. We want to say, say just a word about the ignition sequence, which will begin at minus 20 seconds, Mark. Yes, exactly. After the ignition order, there will be first the preliminary thrust level of the third, uh, third stage on second stage, and then the intermediate level, which will be the no return point, and after that, of course, the lift off. So, so we will get confirmation at uh, minus 20 seconds, and then we'll leave you. Yes, we have confirmation of the umbilic of the last uh, arm uh, retraction. We should get confirmation of ignition, and we'll leave you to watch the lift off on your own. We'll be back. Ignition. shots of those bright lights moving into the sky above uh, Kazakhstan, the dry weather over Central Asia, letting Soyuz lighting up the night sky there. You saw the four uh, boosters were uh, powering the vehicle along with the, uh, the second stage. The four boosters each are burning 40, 40 tons of fuel, and they'll burn for how long? The four boosters will burn for two minutes before separation. And the second stage will burn uh, for four minutes and 45 seconds. Now the same propellant system, which is a liquid oxygen and kerosene in the booster system, which is also called the first stage, and in the second stage and the third stage, right? Exactly. And when we move into frigate, the top stage will have a whole different propellant yes. system. 